guys welcome back to my youtube channel i am winnie joe and i speak on issues concerning international students and general immigration to all my subscribers thank you to the new subscribers thank you the old subscribers thank you don't forget to click on the links beneath this video description for link to my telegram page for business inquiries my email address is there and to all my social media handles please follow me on all social media platforms all right to the issue of today i'm just going to be giving you a brief description how my interview as uh, a data scientist or a data analyst rather how it went and how i was able to get the job i'm going to just tell you everything that happened from application to when i received the mail that i've been offered the position all right so please stay with me and don't forget to like this video comment please like the video and help the algorithm and don't forget to share to other people studying this course all right um some time ago you know that i studied artificial intelligence and data science at the university of all and during the course of the study i discovered that it was more difficult than i thought because it said the course was a conversion course and i was coming from the banking and finance sector and just doing the course for the first time although i did lead two bit of training with nit if you're in nigeria you know what is NIT, so my National Institute of Information Technology. So yes, I did a little bit of data analytics there for about six to nine months during the COVID period. Yes, it's supposed to be a six months course. I ended up doing it for one year. So um, after that, I got an offer to study artificial intelligence and data science. Now, I knew that this course was more advanced. You need to have an idea of statistics and be doing a little bit of programming before. So it's not a course you can just dive into, but still on still, I and so many of us actually went into the course and we saw Shege, Shege Pro Max. <laughs> it was so difficult, the coding and everything. But along the way, we are getting adjusted to everything. I got myself a private tutor, which was a professor in America, and he was able to teach me everything I need to know. Because in class, they don't really spend time in you, you know, knowing this. Although they give you the step to take, but of course you can know the step, but if you don't know the tricks to it, you will not be able to really absorb it and so that was it i graduated and everything was good now looking for a job was a bit tricky because i knew that i was not well invested in in programming or in coding or in python right i knew that i needed more training and all of that so what i did was to take more trainings on linkedin and so many other um, platforms alongside my normal training i take before with the uh, professor as I said earlier and I knew that one year would not be enough and so I decided to use another one year to actually train myself and build myself and during this period I had a baby so it was just like I'm at home um, maternity leave and at the same time like using one stone to kill two beds right and at the same time I'm um, learning and improving my skills and all of that so that's what I did now to the job application i started applying to, for different jobs i know that i was a bit advanced in age for graduate programs and what have you and those are a bit competitive and i actually know that i didn't want to work with all these multinational organizations because the competition is too high and their process recruitment processes is too much so i just wanted just a little small organization in the town i'm in right now okay so i just wanted an organization small in there where i can start off and get my first job my experience and start growing from there instead of joining them like this for instance now we have this um british airways graduate program or like big those are big big organizations they receive millions and millions of applications every year so before it will get to you before they start and i know that this program here i did not know it very very well i really do not know it i really need to brush up myself so instead of wasting my time applying for those big jobs i know that if they call me for interview now or they've come for, i will not be able to defend myself so i just went for smaller organizations that needed data officers data analysts and all of that so in that vein i actually applied to a little organization it's a school 
school um, body. Yeah, it's a school body in here in Dorset. So I actually applied there. What did I do? I went to the Dorset Council website and I applied for jobs there. When I see information analyst, I apply. Information, um, text analyst, so anything analyst, yeah, I apply. And as I said in my previous video, I actually um twist my cvs to suit the jobs i'm applying for so i don't have one general cv and when you're applying for all these kind of um organizations and it's on a government website like a council website and all of that it means you have to fill a very long form they are not going to collect cv what you everything you want to tell them there's a form for it you have to fill it and it is very very taxing it's very very tedious filling it as I said in my previous videos, the trick is to have all this written down somewhere in your notes and you just copy and paste, all right, your, um, what's it called, the name of your school you graduated from and everything, just have it down in the notes in your phone. Some of us are not optimizing our phones. Our phones are a little more powerful than you thought, especially when you're using an iPhone. It's when you come to the UK, you will now know how powerful an iPhone is. So what I just do is copy and paste. That's what makes it very easy for me. So I applied for the jobs and i used the description as i said in my previous video please go and watch the previous video you have not if you've not um, watch it on how to do your job application because some people are just you know submitting applications and they'll just keep getting unfortunate unfortunate we cannot get this because your cv or whatever you filled is not say lodge to that job you're applying for so you'll be able to get to the interview stage you need to um you need to tailor your cv that way and so to the main issue i got an invite for the interview and i got there remember i applied as a data analyst in this organization i got there and the job the interview was in three stages the first one was the um the oral interview they asked me um if i know about the organization luckily i've already read about it that started in this year this is the um organization small small organizations that are now under it this is how big the company is now and all of that their objectives and their aims i've already read about it so i was able to give them a summary of it and then they asked me about my experience in relation to that organization all right so if you're applying to a school for instance they want to learn about you don't know about your experience in schools it's like you are you work in a bank in nigeria but you're applying to a school they want to know the experience you have in relation to school how do you talk to students if a student Students come to meet you and confide in you. What do, do you do? Can you help the teachers? Can you teach? And all of that. Though that's not your job, but just in case um, something happens, could you be able to fill in the, the gap? Have you done this job before in this line? So that's just what they want to know. So they started asking me questions in that line. There's like um, questions that concerns the organization and and all of that like have you done this before what do you do in this kind of situation and stuff like that then yeah they also asked me about some leadership roles some challenges i've experienced in my previous organizations and how i tackled it they asked me to talk about some results i've gotten um they also talked about if i've been rewarded or recognized for any work i did yes i told them i've been awarded in my former organizations in nigeria and one thing was they wanted that wanted to make them drop me was the fact that i didn't have any uk experience at all in this line right as a data analyst i didn't have any uk experience so all my experience mostly were from nigeria so they were like oh we want somebody with uk experience and i countered him immediately i'm like you want someone with uk experience but the person has to start from somewhere all right the person has to start from somewhere i think you should actually give um someone a chance to you know um I'll give me a chance to prove myself and see how industrious i am and how I'm much of a team worker and stuff like that. I think I was able to impress them in that aspect. Then the next one was the um, the test. Because I was applying as a data analyst, the test was um, was on Excel. Before the interview day, I've already gone on YouTube to watch videos. I just type in um, um, job 
like interview for a data analyst and i saw a lot of people's video on how the to answer um, excel questions what to ex expect and all of that so i started brushing up my skills again on excel they wanted to know how to how you rearrange numbers how you can omit without deleting it individually on excel they wanted to know how you can arrange um, names how you can do the formula how you can do the analytics and create graphs and all of that with a short information they gave you i think the entire question was about 20. they also wanted to know eye test how you can pay attention to details they gave me different numbers like number scramble one two four five two four five six seven eight five five like that and they asked me to pick the correct sequence they wanted to know how sharp you are how you can pay attention to details how you are able to see in between the lines right and and read meaning to everything and these are the the aspects they brought out the test on everything on excel yes everything on excel they gave me an office to myself and all of that so i was able to do it at first because of tension i was not able to really answer um the questions i'm like what is this this is simple what are you doing winning i drank water i asked them to give me water i went to the um to the rest to emptied my bladder came back again and i was not able to see very clearly so um although they gave me 30 minutes for the questions it was 20 questions and it was super easy but because of tension i ended up using 30 minutes but um the secretary there just told me you don't need to worry about the time just accuracy that is the issue if you answer 20 questions make sure you're accurate you're sure of your answers if you're able to answer just five questions make sure that questions is correct so accuracy is the key when you're applying for as a data analyst not really um speed in fact in all job interviews not speed is accuracy the little you can do do it well that's the idea so that was it and yeah i got a mail that i was successful and i should i should start in january and stuff like that but of course i've got another offer and i've got lots of offers actually i've got about five of them that i have to weigh and choose one from but that is basically what um how it all went applying as um for as a for a job as a data analyst i know coming to the uk it was a bit um tricky um we are really scared a lot of people are like okay this is a conversion course i'm not so used to it and all of that so this is my advice to you just start applying for small small data officer job office of um office um officer like that yeah i don't know what they call it <laughs> i'm using nigerian terms just apply for those little jobs leave those big big companies alone because you just get keep getting outbreaks yeah just look for the small small ones in your locality and apply even in if some people are working in care and that's fine even in that care they need a data analyst so why don't you just um um tell your manager oh do you know that i also have a a degree in this and you know, i can help you with your data to know if your business is profiting to know if your customers are satisfied and all of that i did that yeah i did it and yeah it worked out fine so the least that anybody can tell you is no but you should do your own part of the whole thing and follow this this system as i've said it and the sky will be your limits thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to like share and subscribe bye for now